Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 18 Aww. of Direwolf20's retro FTB series. Leather! Yay. I wanted leather. I needed leather. I think I never learned leather. I learned it now, though. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so we're taking a look at doing some things today, I think. Uh, that would be pretty cool and fun. Uh, I'm making... Some books. Is that not how books are made? Do you not need leather for books? I remember it was at some point that you didn't need leather for books. And it's now! Ha! <laughs> books no longer need leather. I totally forgot. <laughs> how crazy is that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me tell you. Totally crazy for sure. Um... So, plans for today. I'm getting a lot of dark matter, and I'm gonna convert it into red matter. Cause I'd like to start working towards, if I may, um, some of the power items that I need. Uh, Cause I'd like, yoink. Oh, look at that, that was close. Almost full, neat. Let's just steal a diamond out of there and that'll unfill it. All right, so we've got some red matter. We've got some stuff. Let's check out what we need to make. So we need body stone and soul stone. Um, the soul stone and the life stone and the mind stone. So we need all four stone types. Um, now the body stone, the soul, the life stone is the combination of body and soul. So we might need two of these, but I'm not sure. Uh, but I think I've got most of what I need. So let's see, we're gonna do you, you and you to get the soul stone okay and then these guys to get the body stone and then mind stone was books so pretty much similar but books okay so that's three and then these two combined give you the life stone and I might need to make them again so that's why I've got twice as many resources I wasn't sure if it was like a situation like before where it gave me them back kind of didn't think that would be the case but it was worth giving it a try so that's like half of the quest objectives that I needed to do that's awesome uh, so items body stone pretty sure that's the one that heals you no the soul stone heals you yeah soul stone heals your health Body Stone feeds you for EMC. Mind Stone can absorb and give back experience. And the Life Stone is the combination of the body and the soul, so it can both feed and heal you. Sweet. So that's four of the stones down. Uh, the other thing we need is a Vulcanite Amulet, which, hey, guess what? I made one of those recently, and it was not too hard. Let's convert you down to you. And EMC, that is a lot of EMC. So much EMC. Um, so that was just three of these and lava, right? Lava buckets. I need a bigger Klein star. That's the conclusion that I'm coming to, is that I need a bigger Klein star. Which I could probably totally have right now. So another one of these. Oh, can I handle it? Cool. Should I consider getting another Klein Star? One, two, I mean, we're close. Eh, can I burn these up now that I made them? Nope. All right, well, I need just one more. So I'll do it and then we'll be cool. How much are these? 100,000-ish. So let's empty this one. All gone. And then we can turn you into the next tier. Sweet. Klein Star. Dre. Awesome. Uh, how much can this thing hold? I want to say it's probably four times what the last one could hold, right? So 800,000. Does that sound fair? Seems reasonable. That's kind of a lot. But not even close to the crazy amounts that you can get later. We're gonna need a lot more EMC production to get some of the higher tier stuff that we're looking at. But for now, we're in progress. So, hey, learned. Sweet. I should also teach this thing like 
some beef because I wouldn't mind to eat beef more so than some of the other food I've been eating. I think I'll just teach it raw beef and then I'll just cook it into steak whenever I want. How's that sound? I think that sounds great. Nice. I don't have to eat apples anymore. Don't get me wrong, apples are nice, but kind of a steak and potatoes kind of guy. All right, so that's a large number of the items that I need. Um, Catalytic Lens, Watch of Flowing Time, Evertide Amulet, and Mercurial Eye are the last few. Well, Evertide Amulet's actually pretty straightforward to get. Um, it's going to be right around this object's worth. Let's... One, two, three, four, five, six. And... Dark Matter, one, two, three. Look at that, I just stole a bunch of Dark Matter out of that. That is awesome. So Evertide is pretty much the water version of the Vulcanite Amulet. It gives you unlimited water. And has uh, similar uses. Cool. Um, we're also going to want to make Mercurial Eye, the Watch of Flowing Stone, and the Catalytic Lens. I believe that's it, because we've got, yeah, three more items to make. So let's go with the Watch of Flowing Time. This does some crazy things, as I recall. Um, the Watch of Flowing Time affects world ticks, is that right? Um, so let's see. Um, yeah. While holding the watch, press V to charge it. Hold sneak to uncharge it with V. Uh, activating G will speed up machines at a set rate near you. It speeds up machines and slows mobs near you at the same rate, 10, 20, and 30%. Um, pressing C will cause the sun and moon to move faster in the normal directions. Pressing again causes them to move in the opposite direction and a third time turns it off. Cool. It does mess up world ticks though. Um, it messes with timers and a couple other things. Cool. Nice. Okay. So, watch a flowing time. Not... I remember messing with world ticks was never really a particularly good idea back in the day. Because... And I mean, at this point, I don't think there's anything in the game that manipulates world ticks like that. Because there's a lot of things that kind of rely on world ticks behaving. And that's a great way to make world ticks not behave. So I think what we need is you, surrounded by you, obsidian, and glowstone. Okay, and that, my friends, is the crafting of a Watch of Flowing Time. I think I did it off camera real quick there, but yes, we made the Watch of Flowing Time. So now there's really only a couple things left, and that would be the Mercurial Eye and the Catalytic Lens. So Catalytic Lens doesn't seem all that expensive. I can pull that off. Um, these were used for mining, as I recall. And uh, the Mercurial Eye, this is a nice thing to build with. It's like a builder's tool type thing, and it's pretty good. I might want to make an extra one of those, to be totally honest with you. But let's see. Do I have bricks? Uh, I might have bricks. Oh, I just taught you sugar, didn't I? Let's do... Well, I have a lot of things that are worth 32 EMC, aren't there? All right, let's do this. I know... Oh, there was bricks. There was bricks. Cool. And the Mercurial Eye was what else? Just Obsidian. That ain't bad. We can pull that off. So Mercurial Eye. Ah, it was Diamond on the bottom. That's it. I knew it was something like that. One, I don't want it. I want one, so I'm gonna keep one. That's what it comes down to. And I'm gonna craft the catalytic lens off camera. All right, a little bit off camera. I remember Nova Catalysts. It's been a while, but I remember. Uh, so it's Nova Catalyst, a little bit of dark matter, and a little bit of diamonds, and then the destruction catalyst, more Nova Catalysts, Mobius fuel, and flint and steel. That's totally doable. So we'll be right back. I hesitate to open this chest because it's. Oh man, that's a lot of dark matter. So much. 
EMC, loving it. I'm glad I made that a dark matter focus instead of just diamonds, because that would be a silly amount of diamonds to have. Okay, cool. So that seems totally doable. As I recall, this is like a really nice way to mine, was it? Or no, it's Mobius fuel that goes in here. Where'd my Mobius fuel go? I had some extra. So there we go. Destruction catalyst. Hyperkinetic lens is just diamonds, TNT, thingy. I need a few more diamonds. Yoink. Ha! <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Um, this. And then we can combine these with dark matter. Nice. All right, guys, with that, I think we're ready to hand in. So these guys all drop into here. And then we're going to check out the Mercurial Eye and see what we can't do with it. But that should complete the items of power quest, in theory. Right? Yay! Nikolai. Okay, cool. Well, that opens up some red power two options. Ding! Learned as a fuel source. Very cool. All right, well, that's neat. All right, so we've got Nikolai now. That's a thing. That's a super cool thing. Nice. All right, so that's another quest down. So, like, we're knocking out quests the last day or two, haven't we? We've knocked out two very big and expensive EMC level quests. Um, blood, sweat, and tears, solar power, fires of hell, blood and water. There's lots still to look at. Things that make you go boom. Tons of energy. 100 million EU is still cruising. I did have to fill this up already. So I might get to the point where I put a larger Klein Star in there with plenty of EMC in it. Because it's not that it didn't last long. It just didn't really last that long. But hey, over here we've got a stack and a half of dark matter. How's that? And in here we've got almost a million EMC. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Oh, these guys finished lasering up. I wonder if I have this stuff now. Let's real quick. That's different things. Those things I could probably make now that I've got the Nicolite, which is cool. That's burned rubber. Where is... Those are some kind of armors. These are the gates, the gated logic. Request logistics pipes, golden and gate, right? So request logistics pipes, not bad. I can do that. Uh, golden and gates, check quick sort modules. Not bad. If I wanted to save some diamonds, I could do redstone chip sets. But honestly, four stacks of diamond ain't that expensive to me at this point. Um, diamond and gate check. Apiarist pipe. Ah, that's right. Apiarist pipe. I, if I want apiarist pipes, need to get into bees a little bit. Nobody panic. I know bees. Diamond or gate should be checked because I made two sets of uh, or two stacks of those things. What I should start doing is cooking those up. I should do the gold and diamond and an ore gates. And then chassis pipe, pipe mark five, liquid supplier logistics pipe is here. That's easy peasy. So let's get the gates going. Um, so what I'm thinking we need is a hefty amount. Do we have anything that's an energy now? So we'll probably want a couple stacks of redstone, a couple stacks of iron. Really, dude? Got so much stuff in there now. And uh, we'll probably also want Oh, we might be in trouble here with 32. Got so many things that are worth 32. That's 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 a lot of things worth 32. All right. Um, so what we can do to fix this. We're going to need a dedicated focus, I think, now. That's 
that's going to be a little bit tough. That's definitely going to be a little bit tough. What do we got here? 32, 8, 12. String might not be a terrible focus to have. Right? Oh, come on. What are flowers? There's 16. Okay, so what we can do is do 12. There we go. Okay? And a stack of each. All right, so let's cook up red pipe wire, or all kinds of pipe wire for that matter. It's pretty quick to make, especially once we get the lasers cooking again. Should be super fast, and I think this is going to get me two stacks of each, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it's just a combination of all the pipe wires. Get me the AND gates, right? Nice. Okay, so that's cool. So this is just going to take a while, but we'll get there, right? So there we go, diamond AND gates, boom, cruising. Nice. Um, you know what I'm going to do is the, I'll put another set in there to get the golden ore gates as well, or the end gates, the golden and diamonds, right? And then we'll do another set of all these. So I'm going to save these here. These are going to be used for the next set of pipe wires, which will do ore gates. Cool. So this might take a little bit, but just like we did before, we're going to let it cook. All right, guys, we're back. So the next thing I'd like to take a look at is putting my, you know, I think I should have like a little Klein star in there. Let's get a small Klein star. That's the Mark II, right? What's it cost for this guy? 24,000? There he is, Klein Star Ein. Nice. Okay, let's fill him up. I just want to see it over a million. Yeah, over a million, that's what's up. Nice. So we're going to put a Klein star in here. So C to open it up. We put a Klein star in. That's where it's going to get energy from. And then we can give it a target. So I'm thinking smooth stone. Cool. And then I should be able to charge it. Um, and then change mode. Extension mode. Uh at the block face. So if we extend like this. Hello, that's not what I meant to do. Maybe I should uh not be using that. Creation mode, transmutation mode, pillar extension mode, extension mode. I don't know how these things work. Oh, hello. That's also not what I meant to do. <laughs> totally trying to remember how this works now. That's cool though. Built the three by three pillar. Maybe I should have gotten a destruction catalyst to go along with this, huh? So let's try this. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, okay. So extension mode extends like that. I remember now. Been a little bit of a while, right? Um, I'm thinking what I'd like to do is extend out Look at that, boom. Thank you, Mercurial Eye, You're very kind. Maybe I wanna do it over here. That might be a little better organized. Make sure it's lit. So I wanna have Nice. See, that's why I wanted to create a lie. That's that's the way to build things, guys. I want to play logistics pipes a little bit, um, and I want to test out an auto crafting system because we're going to need one of those eventually. And now seems like as good a time as any. So let's get logistics pipes ready to go. Um, so we're going to need diamond pipes with gold gears, glass, and redstone. Let me make a few of these. So you give me some of this. 
and uh, some of this. Cool. And I might even start charging this thing up so that he's got EMC ready to go. Silver, huh? No thanks. It's enough EMC for now. Sixteen seems like a good number of gears to make here. And then we'll do just eight of you. And then glass, right? We'll get a stack for here. Cool. Um, just need a little bit more redstone torchiness. Nice. Now we've got a large number of basic logistics pipes. So the other thing I'm going to want to make is one of these dudes. One of these dudes. And this can be turned into the automatic crafting table. Okay. Which is super useful. Um, I'm going to steal some of you. You know what I might do? Let's get a bunch of these. Because we're going to want a bunch from what I remember. Um, and then we're going to want the crafting logistics pipe. Which is basic with glowstone on the sides. Totally doable. If I can convert you, there we go, that's good. And this is basically going to be my auto crafting area. Um, so for now, we'll start with a chest. We'll have um, another chest over here. You need to stay on my hotbar. It's been a few episodes since I forgot that, so I figured it was about time. Um, we've got the logistics chassis and the modules, but I don't think I need those at the moment. But I will take the stone transport pipes. And we've got the ability to create one of these. Cool. So the crafting logistics pipe. And then there's one more thing I'm going to want, which will be a provider crafting. I think it's the request, right? Cool. Um, that is going to allow me to request stuff. Provided, do I need the requesting tool for this thing or no? We're going to find out. So you're the request logistics pipe. I forget in this version if you could request with a wrench or not. Yeah, see, that's cool. I don't need to run. Okay, nice. Okay, so then we will have... Um, so we'll put our automatic crafting table here. We'll put the crafting logistics pipe here. We'll import what's in the table, and that's basically going to be wood to wooden planks. Import, good. Nice. And then... Um, We'll have the provider pipe here. And at this point, I should be able to request like any number of those things, provided that I have the number of items. Cool. So let's say I wanted 11. Request. Nice. Beautiful. I love it when things work perfectly. I don't like that that fell on the ground. But that's pretty cool nonetheless. Oh, you know why? Because there's no default route, I think. Yes, that's why that's falling on the ground. Because we need a default route uh, for items to go down. So what we'll probably have is a basic logistics pipe with a default route here. So that when we request 10 of these, any excess will flow to the default route, which is slower to indicate that that was the default route. Neat, right? All right, cool. So now that we've got that down, let's expand our ability to craft here. Um, so what I wouldn't mind being able to do is a few more things. And this will probably expand 
quite a bit, to be honest with you. Um, but the crafting logistics pipe was just the glowstone on the sides, right? So... Let's get like 10 of these for now. One of the first things I'd like to teach this how to make... And we'll remove you. Hopefully that's enough to make mods not spawn. There's more crafting tables, right? So let's actually... We'll remove you. We'll make this here. Import. We'll do sticks. Import. We will do... Gears. Import. We will do crafting tables. Import. And then finally, I should be able to do four gears. Yay, things are flowing. Nice. How cool is that? Um, and you know what else I want is a crafting table. Beautiful. Import. Sweet. So now, provided that I, you know, have enough wood, um, which is not always necessarily easy, but should be cool. Um, totally bummed that I've gotten to the point where I'm stuck at 32 EMC. That's a thing that can easily happen sometimes. It's kind of a flaw-ish in this version, but that's okay. We can work around it. Nice. Cool. So now we can really start cooking as it relates to logistics pipes. And what I could do if I wanted to is put a pipe down here, with a basic pipe. Did I use all my basic pipes? I guess I did. No, I didn't use all my basic pipes, did I? Nope, they're in here. I didn't think I used them all. And remember to set this to the default route, which means if items don't know where to go, they should go here. Nice. All right, cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna actually make this probably a larger chest at some point, and it should also not be sitting here. Okay, we'll probably have the input chest be like closer to here, right? So we're gonna move you. We're gonna make this provider pipe here. Items provide is everything. I don't I don't care. I can provide all the stuff it's got. Nice. Okay. So another thing that I'd like to start working towards is the ability to create solar panels. Because I know we're gonna need a large number of those, because we're gonna need HV solar arrays, right? Um so what I'm thinking is and there's no coincidence that I put this right over here, right near our existing solar array farm and machines, right? Um, this is a manual use rotary macerator. So let's re really quickly look at what's necessary to make things. Um, if we want solar panels, we're going to need coal dust, which we need to macerate, glass, which has an EMC value, electronic circuits, and generators. Generators several crafting steps, electronic circuits, several crafting steps, including refined iron, which we need to smelt. So we're basically going to need to have an induction furnace and a rotary macerator. I think I'm gonna make those off camera and come right back. So I'm making a bunch of mixed metal ingots for my singularity compressor. Woot. I at least need four for now. And I could probably also use a little bit more Iron. Where yet? Klein Star. Focus 10 should get me iron because I'm going to need some advanced machines. So that's an induction furnace and a rotary macerator ready to roll. 
cool. So let's put these over here. Now these can go on, what did I do over here? Did I put them on a low voltage wire? That's pretty sure what I did. So they're on an MFE. Oh no wait, they have uh, transform upgrades in them. So the induction furnace can handle it, but the rotary macerator can't. So let's get a transformer upgrade. Gold cable circuit, not the end of the world. Get a couple of these just to have handy. Um, you and you, or is it on top and bottom? There we go. And then we needed some gold cabling, which I think we might need resin for. So let's focus this guy around resin. 24 EMC. Er, getting it down to 24 is going to be tricky. I really regret having all 32s, but. There we go. Resin. Let's just get a stack of it. I'll hang on to that extra one as another focusing for later. Because we're going to need better. Good enough. I think I had an extra one of these here. So this should be able to turn into this. Cool. And then we can get our transformer. Upgrade. So just a little bit of glass. Sweet. And then everybody will be happy, right? And friendly with each other? Hopefully. So let's put these, let's say, right here. We'll put um, the macerator there and the furnace there. They can each have a redstone signal applied to them. Um, we'll put them on the sides. Be, uh, that should be just fine. So we are doing gold cabling under here, aren't we? Okay. So we'll probably want to get this gold cable. Sixteen should be plenty. So you guys shouldn't have a problem with any explodey stuff, right? You just actually need to have your transformer upgrade in you before we hook up this. No explosions, hooray! Cool. Now remember, these guys you put into the top and pull out the front, right? So we're going to have crafting logistics pipes here but we're also going to need uh, something a little bit kookier. Uh, we're going to want a basic logistics pipe here, or should I tap into Yeah, I'll do basic here. And we'll do this underground. How's that sound? That should be cool. Remember, basics at any intersection. Okay. Um, nice. So crafting logistics pipe. And these days it's one crafting recipe per machine, I think. But we're gonna want satellite logistics pipes. So that is logistics pipes with redstone on either side. So we're gonna want two of these satellite pipes. And they're gonna go on top. And we'll make uh, the macerator channel one. And you can be channel two. Okay. Um, and that should be fine. Now we could have um, 
recipes on the back too if we wanted to. But basically what we'll say is let's do fuel. We'll get a stack of coal. And then the other thing we're gonna want is iron to teach it. That should be good. So the rotary macerator here. And I'm gonna put something in here that can't be macerated just to prevent accidental insertion. But then we will do this and we'll basically say coal yields coal dust. Okay. And this guy, oh wait, and we wanna say satellite channel one. Cool. And then you can be iron yields refined iron. Satellite channel two. So that if we have coal and iron in here, we should be able to come all the way down here and say, hey, give me three refined iron and that's groovy. Induction furnace, why did you go? Do what now? What you doing, buddy? You went to the front. Why'd you go to the front? Oh, because this has to be... The satellite thing needs to be there. That's right. Satellite 2 is in that slot. And wow, I completely derped that up. Okay, so that should make more sense now. So now I can say for coal dust and refined iron. Sweet, right? How cool is that? You're cooking up coal dust, you're cooking up refined iron, and you're getting the items that you need. Cool. I approve of everything that's happening right now. And then the other thing we might want to do is teach this thing how to make rubber out of resin. So what we could have, of course you would be here. So since this is now an intersection, it should be a basic logistics pipe. And we'll want to say crafting logistics pipe that resin yields rubber. And I mean, technically, if I was being efficient, I should be doing that with an extractor, but this will be faster, um, which is ideal for me in my situation that I'm in. So let's target you with this guy, resin. And again, well, no, you're not. It's this one that we actually want to tap into. Crafting logistics pipe, channel two, resin yields rubber. So yeah, technically I should probably be using an extractor for this, but it's all good. Caught myself. That was close. It really was. I won't lie, my heart is beating a little bit faster than it normally is. That was a little bit hectic. All right, um, so provided that there's resin in here, I should be able to request a piece of rubber. Nice, and maybe I'll put, you know, I could put the fast extractor. Isn't there a fast version of an extractor? Centrifuge extractor, right? We have some electrolyzed water cells. Maybe I should put a centrifuge extractor here just to be correct about it. What do you think? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Back in a minute, gonna craft it. All right, here we go. So we'll put the redstone signal on you. You're sending redstone signal over to induction furnace, so we're cool with that. And then we can put this here. And what do we get for this? Is it so you should be speeding up. Right, you need power, don't you? And you also need the transformer upgrade. Okay, so transformer upgrade first. Sweet. 
now you're speeding up. So one gets what, three is it? I wanna say. Yeah, if I put the right item in there, that would be cool. Pretty sure it's, and we're gonna need another satellite pipe. That's right. Let's make that satellite pipe three. Gets you three of these. Nice. So now we do rubber. Quest one. It'll toss it in the top here. It'll centrifuge extract. And once it's sped up, it'll be even faster. And then we'll get three out of there. Yeah, I forgot we can do centrifuge extractor. That works. And one of them should come back quickly. And the others should come back slowly because they're default routing. Nice. All right, I was having so much fun. I lost track of time. It's wrapping up point. So Darwell 20 setting off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Work more on logistics pipes, automation, maybe even getting solar panels going. For now, take it easy.